Hello and welcome to Six Little Lambs. Today I am going to be doing a Tesco haul video for our family of six and meal plans. This week our weekly shop came to £94 and I think it was two pence but that doesn't really matter does it? Um, there is only four meals on this week's meal plan because we are eating out or I already have some things in. Um, this often happens if you have seen our videos before. I may say I've already got that in or I'm buying that from somewhere else because if we know that we can get our fruit or vegetables cheaper on our local market and our local market's open, we will go there and get it from there. And that is the case this week. There is a few things that are not on our shopping this week because I will be getting them from there. Um, last but not least, before I get on to the video, if you enjoy these Tesco videos, please let us know because I can do them more often as we get a delivery every single week and I only upload these Tesco hauls every four to six weeks so yeah leave me a comment down below and let me know let's get on to the video Great. so I will go first with the back to school items so we got this large clear pencil case that was one pound which is I think it's a great size to fit all your bits and bobs in Um, we got some pencils for I think they were 90 pence colour and pencils the jumbo chunky crayons were I think a pound or maybe a little bit over pencils 12 for 90 pence and two packets of is the 10 in these 10 blue black and red barrows um 45 pence if i didn't just say that we got two packs of them we actually homeschool and have done for five years and we go through pens like there's no tomorrow so those 45 pence pens are amazing for us right now on to the food so we got four garlic baguettes i'm not pop them out of the way got some baby spinach some oh, I struggled to pronounce this last time. Pecoro, pecorino. Pecorino? I don't know. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Um, I got two lettuce. Mushrooms. So two blocks of cheddar cheese. Two packets of unsmoked bacon. I am terribly sorry about the light. And in here there's not a great deal of natural light. So I have to put the big light on. Some garlic cloves, some basil, some thyme, some oregano, chicken stock, and then I think I'll go back over this way before I forget about all the products over here. We got two packets of wafer thin cooked ham for lunches, some soft spread. Some double cream for the meal plan. Um, some sweet pickle. Barbecued sauce. And some mayonnaise. We got some beef mints. Two packets of those for the meal plan. I got a six pinter of milk and a four pinter of milk. I got some two packets of tomatoes, six in a pack. Packet of six bananas. They don't really look very ripe, do they? Um, some Maris Piper potatoes. They're upside down. Uh, I think that's a 2.5 kilogram bag. And they're about a pound, which is a bargain. And then I think that's it for like the fresh stuff. So we'll go on to frozen. Got some Yorkshire puddings. I got two gammon joints with honey glaze on them. A packet of roast potatoes. A packet of frozen mixed vegetables. packet of spicy wedges, 
packet of french fries they are a 1.5 kilogram bag and i think they're about one pound 45 which again great if you have seen our hauls before we often have these on it uh, boneless chicken breast fillets um, i like getting them frozen because they last longer if i don't use them within a couple of days and it's a big bag for £3.50 got two of those we got some adult dog dry food biscuits it's actually complete food but we call it as biscuits because he has it every morning we got three loaves of wholemeal bread now this random piece of thing in a tesco shop who knew tesco sold quilts on the grocery shops i didn't and i've been shopping with them for about five years um i was googling looking for full cotton bedding and this came up on tesco so i thought i'd get it as a spare quilt because you'd always need a spare when you've got a few kids that was only five pound fifty for a 10 tog 10.5 tog duvet single so bargain we got two boxes of chalk nut pillows some indoor complete cat biscuits cat food dry cat food some honey nut cornflakes because i am trying to eat breakfast more i don't eat breakfast everybody else does and then i end up eating really late in the night so i'm trying to sort my meals out during the day I have no idea what these are, I don't even remember ordering them, but they are wheat biscuits, which I guess are just like Weetabix. But I always order these ones, which are exactly the same as normal Weetabix, and are only 75 pence, they're upside down. They're having everything upside down today. 75 pence, and somehow I've ended up with a packet of these two, which I don't remember ordering at all. Uh, again, upside down. Some toilet rolls, nine pack. Got some double strength summer fruits, 1.5 litres. And we also got some double strength orange, lemon and pineapple. A bottle of Coca-Cola for Joe, as you will have seen in my other hauls. Now chocolate, I'm probably going to get judged for this because there's quite a lot of chocolate here. But it was on offer this week for £1. So while they were a pound, I thought I'd stock up on the bars that are normally £1.50 to £2. So we've got some whispers, some double deckers, some dairy milk, some Mars bars and some galaxies. I can hear the kids in the background saying, ooh. <laughs> um, got 15 british eggs they're about one pound 19 again bargain unless you like organic baked what's it sizzling steak they were on offer uh, a 10 packet of cheese curls a meaty variety pack of um crisp you get ready salsa cheese and onion beef and onion roast chicken and smoky bacon they're £3.30 and I got another 30 bag with ready salted salt and vinegar cheese and onion and prawn I got 10 packets of these chicken noodles if you have seen our previous videos you will know what they are for um uh, oh two two mushy peas i thought i only ordered one but we've got two of those and a vegetable gravy granules bistam so i think i've covered everything for the food shop now i am going to go on to the meal plans so usually we will have seven days worth of meal plans here however this week we only have four days of meal plans because i already have some items in that are on my meal plan and also we are going to eat out on one of the help out eat out scheme days because it is approaching the end of august and it ends soon so why not take advantage of it 
So first I'm going to start off with this section, which is Hunter's Chicken. So it's just, we'll defrost these, cook them up, um, garnish it in a barbecue sauce mixture that I use, Worcestershire sauce, grated onion, honey, and a little bit of garlic if we feel like it. Um, wrap it in bacon. Once that's cooked, layer it with cheese and serve it with some salad and some wedges. But you can have it with chips or whatever you wanted. And some garlic bread on the side. It's a really nice meal. We have some coleslaw with it as well, but I did just realise I haven't ordered it. And some sweet corn, which I do have in the cupboard. And then just over here, we have a very simple um, a homemade meatballs. Literally put these in a bowl with an uh, egg, some Worcestershire sauce, some grated onion, mix it up. Oh, breadcrumbs as well. You can make that out of grating or mashing your own bread up or you can buy a tub of breadcrumbs. Mix it all up, roll them into balls, put them in the oven for 20 to 40 minutes. Serve it with some peas, gravy and mash and it's as easy as that. And then just over here, a Sunday dinner. You can't call it a roast dinner because it's not, not a bit fresh. It's just a very quick, easy bog standard. Put them in the oven, in the trays that they're in with some frozen mixed veg, some roast, frozen roast potatoes and some Yorkshire puddings and some gravy. So I have had this one in my meal plans before. We do enjoy this meal, so we do try to incorporate it into our meal plan every two to three weeks. It is the creamy chicken and mushroom sauce with chicken. And you can save it whatever way you want, with chips or mash or wedges, pasta, whatever you want to save it with. You literally defrost some chicken meats, cook them in butter for about... 10 to 15 minutes they've still got to be pink on the inside and then you add some oregano some thyme and some basil with chicken stock double cream this cheese which, which i'm not going to try and pronounce again some garlic mushroom we add spinach you don't have to add spinach we really enjoy it so we do and it's as simple as that you add the chickens back in um leave it to like boil up and marinate until the chickens are fully cooked and it's as simple as that it's a really tasty meal and we serve that up with as i've just said either chips mash and uh, we've had it with spaghetti pasta it's really nice and we have some garlic bread with it so that's it and that is the end of the video if you enjoyed this video today please give us a huge thumbs up subscribe and click the notification bell we upload new videos every thursday with bonus uploads during the week See you again soon. Bye.